What is going on everyone? In today's episode we're going to check out the off-road edition of the Cadillac Escalade. Armor off-road, repair. Oh, we got no options to equip it. Okay. This is the armored edition. As you can tell. Now, I did see the regular edition. We'll do a separate video on that, but... I mean, this thing's pretty badass. It's armored, it's got knobby tires, off-road rims, roof rack. I don't know why we got RPG launchers and stuff, but still, it looks pretty cool. It looks really badass. We're going to take this on a little journey. This is the map, Rocky Hills. Um, I haven't played on this yet at all, so it's uh, going to be a learning experience. I don't know what all's here. There's utility, semi-trailer, log cart, lumber mill, fuel station. There we go. All right, fuel station we go. Distance, let's do it. You know the drill. Every time we play, we usually go for fuel station. Right away, the sound is pretty cool. It's got the snorkel and everything. It's handling decent. It has uh, air brakes, though. I don't understand that. Why does a Cadillac Escalade have air brakes? I mean, they're top of the line trucks. Don't get me wrong, but why does this thing have air brakes? You know what? What do you, th what do you think? Should we test with the snorkel over here? Yeah, I think we should. And for those of you that commented about using the snorkel, I mean, er, sorry, not snorkel, uh, automatic transmission, I honestly don't find, whoa, the snorkel's actually working. Holy smokes. Can you see this right now? Wow. Okay. That is absolutely wicked. Let's, uh, Let's see. Wow. That is impressive. This snorkel actually works. You can see the water in the cabin, though. I don't know how I feel about that. But, whatever. That is awesome. I'm pretty pumped about that. Um, yeah, so for those of you that comment about the automatic transmission, you know, if you have a standard, I understand you'll use the gears manually. But, if you have an automatic, why not just use the automatic until you get stuck? Um, I personally don't find shifting that enjoyable. I use an Xbox controller and maybe if we upgrade and get the uh, appropriate equipment. Okay, so how low can you go here? We're still not buried yet and we're up to the snorkel. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. And we're, we're still going lower. Lower and lower and lower. I don't know how much more room we really got in this. And we're almost stuck. We're going like a mill, a millisecond, a mill. Like I don't even know. We're just going so slow. So I'm gonna back up because obviously we're not doing too good here. Let's uh, let's try feathering the gas. Sometimes that works in the deep mud. Let's see if that works here. Okay, we do have a little bit. I mean, we're progressing through it. Whereas before we weren't really moving. Feels like we're catching some traction now. Yep. Okay, we're water loading. We're water loading. Alright. There we go. Awesome. We're doing good so far. I honestly love this snorkel. You know what? I haven't driven a truck in this game yet with a snorkel. Now I don't know if I'll drive one without one again. I mean, if, it, if there's an option. So... I think what we're probably going to have to do is do this exact same map um, with the non off-road edition without the snorkel see how it pairs up it's not going to be a hundred percent but I want to see the difference I mean let's see if we can climb over this rock no okay we're gonna tip over we're gonna tip over oh yeah we tipped over oh man how come every time we try to do a video I tip the Damn truck over. Okay, so we gotta change the truck. Oh, so that's cool. So I guess the repair and fuel is weapons and cocaine. I didn't know I had coke in this truck. That's not good. All right, let's uh, let's switch. Let's get the F1. You know what? I don't even know if the F150 is gonna make it there.
Straight through the fence. I don't care about this truck. I don't care about it at all. Let's get the heck over there. Let's try and... Oh, man. We're done. I... I... Th I don't know how I did that. Alright, so how do we... How do we tip over? We can't. Okay. Alright. Alright. Okay, let's do it. Let's recall. Here we go, we got another chance to do this. I hate, I hate recalling, it takes out a lot of the realism, but this video wasn't going to get done if we didn't, so. Here we are. Now we know that this thing is easy to tip over. Here we go again, demonstrating the snorkel on this. That is absolutely incredible. Honestly can't believe how good this does in the water. We're, I mean, we're floating through. Now, if we ease the throttle, you go out way faster. It's unbelievable what a difference that makes. And I guess that's realism, right? If you're stuck in snow or sand and you just smash on the gas, you don't really get out, but you feather it. you got a chance at least to try to grab a tiny bit of traction without losing traction and spinning completely. But with the tires on this, you know, it's heavy enough. You wouldn't think you'd really need it per se, but... All right, let's keep on trucking. Water slows us down quite a bit. That was also muddy, though. Let's go up this hill, see how that goes. Yep, no problem. So this stuff is... It's not swampy, but it's swampy? I don't know if that makes sense. And it's muddy. I don't even know if we have a winch on this thing. I think we do, but it's off-road edition, so I hope we do. Are we going to make it? Yeah, we're just pushing up that hill. That was epic. Alright, there we go. And it's not really getting any damage. Oh, no, here we go. We just tipped it again. Are you serious? No way. No way. Oh, man. Okay, here we go. Alright, recall. Yep. I, uh, I don't even... I don't even know how to handle that. We're gonna try to go this way. Interior is so realistic. Wow. I really, really like this mod. I mean, I'm impressed. Armor panels, off-road doors, cocaine even. That's great. No, I... I don't understand the logic in... I mean, I, I guess I miss it. The cocaine's right there on the roof rack. But I don't understand the logic in putting rocket launchers and cocaine in this. Maybe it's realism if you want to simulate a drug-running vehicle. Maybe this is what they use in, I don't know, Mexico... Like, Columbia, I can't think of any other places. Now, I am getting a little bit of damage here, and that's expected, but 35 out of 500 isn't bad, considering we haven't tipped over yet. 44 out of 500 now. We are going a little bit fast. The one thing is, is it doesn't have... I don't find it has more ground clearance than the traditional Escalade. I mean, slightly, but nothing significant to constitute this as a off-road edition. And here we go, down a hill. This is what gets us screwed every single time. No. Alright, we're gonna... We're gonna winch this. Alright, let's, uh... Let's release. Let's... I don't think we got a way of... Going up this. Is there a way we can get down it without... You know... I wonder if we can winch. No, we can't. Okay. Alright. 
Alright, there's some hope. There we go. I guess if it was higher, we'd be a lot more prone to roll over, so maybe it's a good thing that's not higher? Or am I just saying that now because I can't go up any damn hills sideways at all? Back through the swamp. Almost come to a yeah, dead stop. This mod was really thought out. I mean, hats off to the people who create these mods because most of them, I don't think they get compensated. I think they do it free because they love the game, they love the modding community, and obviously they have the talent to this escalated, but uh, they do it so that, you know, you and I, we can enjoy it. Without them, we wouldn't have these mods. I don't think I'd enjoy this game near as much without the mods. I personally don't enjoy the Xbox or console version near as much without the mods. And holy smokes, we made it. This is a fuel station. Wow, okay. Oh, yep. Good job, good job. Alright, can't believe I hit that light bulb. So we're here, we made it. So I guess this is going to conclude the Escalade Off-Road video. Uh, that's it. If you like this video, do me a huge favor. Do us a huge favor. Like, subscribe, hit the bell, get notified, you'll see the next Cadillac Escalade, the non-off-road edition. Thank you.